In this video I'm going to make this uh, butterfly shaped box. And it's an actual box. It's very unique shape for a box. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the original project didn't have color in it. I added the color. I added a, a piece underneath, a piece of 16th inch ash and painted that to match the holes in the lid so that uh, I have that color show through. I also painted the edge of the cut in the lid. So stay tuned. We'll look at the pattern and the material, which I changed the box of the body part way through because I had some problems with the original material, but I'll explain that when we get there. So stay tuned and we'll go through the process. Now we're going to look at the pattern and the material I'm using this for this. I'm uh, scrounging a lot of stuff to uh, make this work so I don't have to buy anything. I'm trying to use up. I've got plenty of extra wood in the shop. It's not necessarily all scrap, but uh, stuff I need to use up is kind of sitting around. So for, for the body of the box, I've taken this. This was a piece of two inch poplar, 36 inches long, two by two, kind of like this piece right here. And I cut it down to it's an inch and a quarter. And I glued it together. I'll show you what I did. I marked them off on the pattern so that I make sure I covered the pattern without using any extra material. And then I put some uh, clear tape on that and glued them together right on top of it to make sure the pattern would fit. So that's the body of the box, it's poplar. Then you gotta have a quarter inch bottom for the box. And I've got this piece of extra three quarter inch, that's walnut, I do believe. And then you got the uh, the lid of the box. And I got three pieces for the lid. This is the main lid. It's the top, what they call the uh, the uh, lid upper side. And this will be what's on the very top. These will be cut out in fretwork. And I'm going to cut that out of this piece of wood right here. It just fits, just barely, but it fits. And it's eighth inch. It calls for quarter inch. But I'm going to use eighth inch because I want it thinner because I'm going to put color underneath that. I want it to show through better. And then you got an underside, what they call an underside, which is the lip that fits over the body of the box. And I'm using this. And i got to go quarter inch because I need it long enough to fit over the box. Plus I'm going to have a piece up inside, which is this next piece. This is sixteenth. And I believe that's ash. But this is going to cut out fit up underneath this this piece and I'm going to paint it where it'll match up with these holes to get different colors in the lid. So that's the plan right now and that's the material. I'm not sure what that material is. Uh, it came in a seconds package and that's ash. I bought that for a specific purpose and that was left over for something else. Same with this walnut. Bought that for a specific purpose and that's some left over. It's not really a scrap that is left over from uh, another project. And then I bought this this little piece of two by two poplar because I didn't have anything else. I didn't want to stack anything. I had two nice to three quarter inch wood to use for something like this. Uh, I want to save it for other projects. So this is just poplar. And like I say, I put it together, glued it together in a way that it would fit the pattern. Planed it a little bit. I'll sand it a little bit too before I mount the pattern. Now I got to mount the patterns, drill the holes and get ready to start cutting and then figure out colors I'm going to use on underneath that lid to try to make it a little color show through on that butterfly. So let me get started mounting patterns and we'll drill holes and won't be much cutting. Just have to be careful where you cut it and make everything fit. So I'm going to get started on that.
Now I'm going to cut the internal part of the box, just cut the inside only. And I'll take this over and glue it to that piece of walnut and cut the outside. Well, that wasn't the prettiest cut I ever made, but that's not the final outside cut. That just cuts it down. I have the uh, lid, lower part of the lid that's going to glue to this, and it has another line which I have to cut, and it's going to cut inside this one. That'll be the final cut. But I've got to cut the other one. I've got to cut the internal and an external cut on it, and then glue it to this and make that last cut. So that's what I'll work on next. So this is what it's called the lid underside. We'll cut this internal part out and then cut the external part. And this reverse orientation will glue to the bottom of the lid I just cut out. And then we'll cut that inner line, which gives us this lip remaining on the lid that I just cut and cut as one piece so it'll match up and go over the body. But I'm also going to keep this inner piece because I'm going to use it as the pattern to cut the little piece of ash that I have that I'm going to paint to match those holes on the lid. Anyway, first I'm going to cut that inside out and then we'll cut the outside and glue it to the other piece. I got this glued on to the lid. That's the lid upper side, and it's the lid underside. I cut this the inside out and the outside. And now we're going to cut this line right here that gives us the final outline of the lid, all cut in one piece with a lip to fit down over the box. And I still got to cut the box with the floor attached. But this is the next step I'm going to take is cutting this part right here.
Okay, I've had to make a change in the body of the box. I was using that inch and a quarter poplar with a walnut quarter inch base and uh, was cutting that with a number seven blade and it was really not tracking very well and when I, as the blade I got halfway through, the blade was really beginning to get dull and it started uh, really getting out of whack and it was cutting through the wall in, in the center. It was, it was, the blade was bowing trying to make those hard turns, especially when it was dull. So I've gone to a three quarter inch walnut with a wa quarter inch walnut base and I've gone to a larger blade. Now for some reason that poplar was really hard to cut anyway for poplar. So I've abandoned the poplar and I've gone to this uh, walnut and we'll see if we can cut it out with this. I've got a number nine blade in it and I don't think I'll have any trouble but We'll start cutting it. We'll see. It's a really thin wall. It didn't take much for it to get out of whack to cut through the wall. It did it in, in one place and then in another place I couldn't even back the blade up. It was so out of line. So anyway, we're going to redo this with this, this walnut and I'll start cutting this see how it works. Okay, this is the piece that's going to go inside the, uh, the lid. It's, it already fits in there. I've got it cut. And I've got it marked, as you can see. I just put it in there and just drew that to make a stencil to know where I need to put the colors to show through the uh, fretwork in the lid. So I'm just going to experiment with some colors now. I'm not sure what I'll end up with. I've got some blues and pinks and some whites to mix some different colors, purples. Anyway, I'm going to start working on the color and see what I make it look like. I can always repaint it if I don't like it. So there's the finished box. It's a very unique box, butterfly shaped. Uh, I added the color to it. Uh, the original project was just open fretwork in the lid, although she, she did suggest in the project that you could add color to it. And it is an actual box shaped like a butterfly. So I'm not crazy about the colors, but it's the best I could do with what I had. There's two shades of blue, two shades of purple, violet, and some pink really wanted some yellow there but I didn't have any yellow uh, available so I just went with pink and what I had. I've changed the color in this section two or three times trying to get it to where I want and that's as close as I can get. I'm not crazy about it but it's okay. So anyway I hope you like that. Uh, if you do hit the like button and uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to try to get into some more models and some future videos, but I'm going to keep making boxes because I really do like boxes. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.